I wasn't expecting to see this camera back again. This is one I repaired some time ago and if I recall correctly at the time it was obvious the bellows had been re-glued previously by someone else. Checking the glue, those bellows were very firmly attached and I did nothing to the bellows apart from paint some black paint around the uh, exposed area, edges of the metal to uh, stop reflected light causing flare. Turns out that there's a light leak in the bellows which took some finding. So I'm going to strip this down, remove the lens and the struts, check the bellows in position and see if the bellows are a good candidate for patching or whether they are really better replaced. Of course with a camera that's 70 odd years old, worse, 80 years old, it's um, finding replacement bellows is always going to be an act. Right, with the components missing from the, removed from the top that I need removed, I can get to that single screw there which holds the struts at the top of the camera, one at the base of the camera. Two in the film cassette chamber. I think I'll remove the door. Single hinge pin screw at the top of the door, one at the bottom of the door. This has quite a strong spring on these doors, so I'm just putting a, a rule down the side there to um, stop that spring from scratching on the paint. And see if I can lift that door off the struts. It's um, a bit reluctant to move. There we go. Now, can I fold this up? If I can, I can leave my focus adjust uh, scale and everything attached at the front. Now I think it's at the base that my problem lies. No, I'm going to get rid of that focus uh, adjustment. That's going to cause me too much grief otherwise. Fortunately I've got all my alignment marks from the previous service so it'll be no problem to put it back in the correct position. Where did that one go? There it is. Off with the focus scale ring. Four screws hold the uh, focus mount to the back of the front standard. So we'll have those out. And four screws hold the bellows to the back of the front standard. So we'll have those out. In an ideal world, I would like to completely remove the bellows to assess their condition and uh, see if they are a good prospect for repair. But I might be looking for trouble doing that. Right, have bellows. And they're gone somewhere at the bottom edge. 
and I could only see that by holding a torch, a bright uh, flashlight in there. And I'll have to do the same again. Well, I've decided because the damage is effectively right on one of the corners or close to the corner, I won't be able to do a good patch job on that. Had it been on one of the flatter areas in the middle, it wouldn't have been a problem. I could get a patch on there. But really, I'll be trying to get a patch glued to a point where there's a fair bit of flexing going on in multiple directions. I don't really think it's a goer. So, my only practical course of action is to remove these bellows and find a set of bellows from an organ donor and uh, that might take some searching. Anyway, I'll get these bellows out and we'll see where we stand. So what I'm doing is I'm just applying acetone to the glue at the base of the bellows here and it's softening up the adhesive and the bellows are coming away cleanly. Normally this works very well. Of course I had no idea what adhesive someone had used when they'd repaired this previously. So I had no idea whether the bellows would, whether the acetone would soften the adhesive in this case. But it appears to be working. And the object here is to get their bellows out without damaging them further. In case I am going to be forced to repair what I've got. Here we go, there's our bellows out. You can see the body where they've been stuck and that's the glue there that's been softened by the acetone and that'll all have to be cleaned away. It's something uh, unusual, it's a very brown adhesive. I want that surface clean, I might as well do it now while the acetone has softened up the adhesive in the paint. Oh, it's quite thick, there's plenty of it. And all round the inner edge, that's all been painted matte black. I painted that black again previously. Um, that's so that there are no bright exposed edges in there to reflect light back towards the lens. Which would then bounce back to the film plane, potentially. Well that'll do for the body. That's clean enough for my purposes. Put the bellows. Let's have a look at these. Now there's our problem. And I'll hold a light under that, you can see. Where is it? Oh yeah. You can see a light there. So it's cracked along that line. And the bellows are otherwise good and they're nice and supple.
I don't know what to make of that. I wonder whether the camera had been damaged at some stage and the, the struts had been bent and they'd been cutting down against that bellows. It's very localised. It, it, it extends right the way to the to the V here, the double fold. Well, I think I'll repair these bellows and while the adhesive is curing on them I will go away and look for some other bellows on the off chance I do have a new set. And what I'm going to do is glue in a patch all the way through here, right around that corner, halfway up the side and right the way along that flat. And I'm just going to glue it over this section here. So where the crack is, that'll be in the middle of my patch. Of course, then I've got to get my patch to flex into that shape. But I've got some rubberized silk here, which I think it'll do that. So I'll, I'll work on that. Well, I've got my chosen patch material here, and it's rubberized silk. And I've cut a small strip. I'm going to apply some adhesive to this. And I'm applying a very thin layer. You'd almost say I'm applying it like a primer. Now I need to run some into the inside of the bellows where this is going to stick I'm going to wrap this around two sides so it'll go right around the corner and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get it to stick correctly and more importantly fold at the corner and should this all fail miserably I'm back where I uh, expected to be looking for a replacement set of bellows But uh, sometimes desperate measures are needed. If nothing else, it'll uh, teach me exactly what I can get away with with repairing bellows and what I can't get away with. So that adhesive I'm going to let cure for a minute or two. Then I'm going to apply another layer of adhesive to this strip of patched material. And then I'm going to lay that into place, squeeze it into position hopefully get the bellows to uh, fold back into their neutral position and then I, at that stage I'll leave that to cure and hopefully we'll be good to go. And then the, once it's all done hopefully the bellows can be glued back into position in the camera. With the single exception of that damage along that single edge the bellows are in fine condition and they're very supple and uh, I doubt I'd find anything as, as good as that for this 1930s camera. Alright, back in a minute. Okay, well that uh, primer layer has had a chance to cure. Let's put some fresh adhesive onto my patch.
and put it into place. Of course it's stuck to the paper. Well that all looks nice and neat. Let's see if I can get the pleats to fold. Oh yeah, they don't really want to. There we go. That's folded down into position. And goes round the corner nicely, so I'm just going to leave that block on there. Leave a weight on that. What was that? Oh, the cotton buds or something tipping over, nothing important. I'll leave a weight sitting on top of that. Let that adhesive cure for an hour or so. And then put these bellows back in the camera, I think. Well, time marches on. The adhesive has had some time to set up now. I'm quite pleased with the look of this. Um, it's certainly light proof. It's flexible enough. It certainly follows the, the action of the concertina well. I think that'll do. So I'm going to glue this back in place in the body now. And hopefully that's all I will need to do. So, well, I've already cleaned the body. And I removed as much of that old adhesive as I could. I'm just going to check to make sure there's nothing hard and crusty there. There's certainly still some adhesive. I need to make sure there are no lumps. Because it's important that the bellows fit back nice and flush if there are lumps the bellows won't be in won't be in firm contact all the way around and of course that would mean that they were would inevitably be not stuck down as well as they might now I wish I knew what that adhesive had been used on there it's certainly crusty stuff Right, that'll do. Some adhesive. I'll open the back so I can see what I'm doing better. And I'll run some adhesive onto the aluminium casting. All the way around. And I can leave that to dry. And the bellows. Well the bellows I'll treat in a similar fashion. Except I'll apply my adhesive with a toothpick. And I just need a uh, thinnish layer to act as a primer really let's tuck a little bit in the corners where that overlaps and the bellows here I have wiped those surfaces very carefully with uh, acetone and naphtha to make sure there's no oils or grease or polish 
because it's quite likely that the bellows have been treated with some leather treatment or other some waxy stuff substance so it's important that they all be all of that contaminants removed before I put the glue on otherwise the glue might not take properly I can leave that now I can leave that to uh, to dry for the next few minutes then come back and I'll apply adhesive a generous layer just to the bellows and then stick them into the body position them carefully and then hopefully put a weight on there to hold them in position while they're curing and allow it plenty of time to cure well the time has come let's get these bellows glued firmly in position More. Why I'm uh, doing it this way is I don't want to get adhesive in the folds of the bellows that I don't need to glue down. Because if I did that, the bellows wouldn't extend correctly. Well, they might even get damaged. Okay, got the camera body. I'm checking I've got the bellows the correct way around. Um, yeah, I've got a few stray threads of adhesive here. I'll peel those off while I'm here. Alright, this is the bottom. This was the damaged area. So lower that into position in the body and get it centered. Centered up, make sure it's square. A little bit of misalignment's fine. Um, it won't make much difference. They'll, they're, they're flexible, they'll pull into line. But you've got to get them as good as you can get them. And you don't want the bellows running over the uh, film gate at the back there. That looks good. I'm just going to put this on here as a nice heavy weight. And leave that. And come back in an hour or three and put the camera back together around it. I won't fit... I won't extend the bellows until they've had a day or so to cure, just for good measure. But I can do the other assembly around that. Well, the time has come. Let's get these bellows glued firmly in position. More. Why I'm uh, doing it this way is I don't want to get adhesive in the folds of the bellows that I don't need to glue down. Because if I did that, the bellows wouldn't extend correctly. Well, they might even get damaged. Okay, got the camera body. I'm checking I've got the bellows the correct way around. Um, yeah, I've got a few stray threads of adhesive here. I'll 
peel those off while I'm here. Right, this is the bottom, this was the damaged area. So I'll lower that into position in the body and get it centered. Centered up, make sure it's square. A little bit of misalignment's fine, um, it won't make much difference. They'll, they're, they're flexible, they'll pull into line. But you've got to get them as good as you can get them. And you don't want the bellows running over the uh, film gate at the back there. That looks good. I'm just going to put this on here as a nice heavy weight. And leave that. And come back in an hour or three and put the camera back together around it. I won't fit I won't extend the bellows until they've had a day or so to cure, just for good measure. But I can do the other assembly around that. 